Welcome back students. In graphic design level three, you'll be creating an infographic representing a UN sustainable development goal. The template that you'll be using will be the home learning tips for student infographic. This is going to be the template for this particular project. You're going to look for that template and you're going to choose this purple one right here. Student's Guide to Learning from Home. And we're actually going to customize this template. After you selected the template you like to adjust, you might have to add some photos and pictures. Since the last tutorial videos made by Canva, some of the user interface has changed. If you can, are unable to find the video or picture option uh, to for search, all you would have to do is click on the app and then select it to be added to your toolbar. This particular project, I'm going to use photos as well as videos. Here on this particular template it has some wonderful items already placed. I'm going to be adjusting what this particular picture looks like or what this infographic is going to look like. I'm going to be changing the fonts that are being used, some of the graphics like this particular tape, as well as adding a picture and video to make it more interesting. And don't forget, Infographic has to have some information that's interesting for the audience. In a few moments, you're going to see some of the changes that I did to a completed Canva project of mine. There are going to be some requirements in this particular tutorial. The requirements are going to include a specific font that's going to be used, as well as adding a very specific odd video as well as frame uh, graphic to the infographic. Stay tuned. Here you can see what the original infographic looked like. I went ahead and I made a duplicate page onto, onto another sheet. So I have a two pages and these are some of the adjustments that I made. I change some of the words as well as the font that's being used. The tape graphic, I changed to a different color that it suited me. The background had an added image to that relates to SDG nine, as well as some pictures and information that I gathered directly from the UN website. Here you can see I added a wonderful video that could be played on the loop, as well as a special frame to make it look interesting rather than a standard box. The elements that you're gonna be adding into this particular tutorial project would be a picture or a video on the bottom right corner of your infographic using a frame have some images added to the video, to the infographic, as well as changing all of the fonts from a Libre Franklin to a permanent marker. This way it looks like someone was writing this infographic with their hand. It gives a very nice structure to, to the infographic. It makes it look interesting. And that's what you want to do. You want to make your infographic interesting for the reader and the audience. Once you finish making your infographic, you're going to have an option to share. You're going to share it and then download. If you download it as an MP4 video, it will show this video. You can also do it as a standard PDF print or standard PDF, and this particular image won't be moving. It will have the very first cue, 
which would be where it stopped at. If you have any questions, you could refer back to the tutorial videos seen in the previous lessons. If you have any questions, please refer to the previous videos in the tutorials.